Okay, here we are with our experiment. This black box here um, is inside of it is the Frank Hertz tube, glass tube, which uh, we can't see because it's in an enclosure. Um, and there's the diagram on the tube is actually the diagram that I drew on the board and is in your lab manual for you. Um, you can see these these. These voltages on here are, um, I'll show you, uh, that VG, you can see VG2A and VG2K there. And of course, that wiring comes over to this instrumentation here, and the wires out of the tube are are connected to these instruments. This instrument at the top here is the ammeter. It's going to give us our, our the current from the collector plate. And then you'll see four numbers there. The upper right here is VG2K. This is actually the voltage that will vary throughout the experiment when the experiment is live and taking data. This is VG1K here, which is the voltage between grid one and the filament. Right now they're all turned down. Um, this voltage right here is, is, is the, the voltage between the collecting plate and the second grid, which decelerates the electrons from grid two to the collector plate. And this voltage right here is the, um, the fill, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This one right here, the lower left, is, the, is going to be the filament voltage, which gives you the uh, current going through the filament in order to heat it up so the electrons get ejected. And then the upper left, this voltage is going to be the decelerating voltage, the voltage between the uh, collecting plate at A and the grid G2, so it's VG2A, that slows electrons down from grid 2 to the collecting plate. And then, um, of course, all of the those signals there are going to go into the computer with the PASCO software, and we will be able to um, record that in the capstone software and get the Frank Hertz graph here, um, which is actually going to be quite exciting. So let me um, make sure I can see this graph. Uh, let me get, get some focus on this and see it in focus there. Um, that looks pretty good there. You know, these, you don't want these lines blurry, you want them sharp. So you can see the graph being generated. So go ahead, Ryan, and let's start the, the data run. He's going to Click, he clicks on start the data run and he's going to vary that voltage on the the uh, VG2K and we'll just sit here and watch it happen you'll see the voltage versus the IV current it's a little dip there we'll see a and then it dips, okay, and then you go another 11 volts and it dips again. Another 11 point something volts, electron volts energy gap. And you see the Frank Hertz peaks and valleys being generated. And you will get this data sent to you. Now he's gonna stop it around 84 volts uh, because that's all that tube can handle. Okay, now this, this data file is um, something you'll analyze. And as you know, um, you can come in here and look at the, you can grab the, uh, you guys know how to do this. You can grab the um, coordinate tool in this software. See, it's that little X, from, the third from the right there. Um, you can grab the coordinate tool and um, 
as he'll do for you now, go ahead, go ahead and, and, and grab the coordinate tool and then he'll, he'll grab it and then he'll go to, uh, he'll drag it to a peak and then freeze it there and then he can move, uh, 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 click again and go to another peak there and you can get the voltage difference between those peaks and you've done you've messed around with this tool uh, in your other experiments so this is the capstone software um, that you've played with already um, so anyways that's pretty exciting so there there is the Frank Hertz um, data for argon and so the next thing we're going to do is we'll we'll take a look we'll see if we can get the camera in close enough to see those orange glows through the neon that I described in the lab lecture. Thank you, Ryan. Welcome. Okay, this is a view inside of the Frank Hertz experiment, the glass tube. And you can see the two grids there. And below the bottom grid, you can see a filament And we're going to show you this operating with neon in it. But just wanted to give you a look at this physical tube apparatus to see that we're actually playing with a real, real physical apparatus here when we show you stuff. Hi guys, we've got a Frank Hertz experiment set up here with neon and the, the 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 black enclosure that you saw around the other experiment has a hole in it and we could see in through the glass and at the very top of you, you see you see not the top of your frame but at the top of the uh you see this you can see the red light emitting and you can see two distinct bands of um light coming out the, the grid is above and below that those bands um, so we're seeing that the two sort of horizontal bands of orange light coming out from between the grid uh, the two grid one and grid two and this is showing you um, just qualitatively what we expected to see at the 36.8 volts to see two distinct almost horizontal wafers of orange light in between the um, in between grid one and grid two for the the neon Frank Hertz experiment a Frank Hertz experiment with neon gas in the tube okay